<laughs> okay, we just got done with the groundwork. I promise I haven't moved. I'm uh, gonna hop on and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna see what's here. <laughs> so, something that I think is very, very, very important on any horse, but especially young ones, and what the lady who trained this horse did a wonderful job on is this. When you get on, your horse isn't leaving you. I don't like that because I don't really want to get on something that's already telling me it doesn't want to be there. That has never made sense to me, but a lot of people do it, and some people even like their horse to do it. So I'm glad that she's waiting on me because that's like a safety thing. I'm not... If I was going to ride a motorbike and I went to go get it and it started going away, I'd probably be worried that it wasn't a good motorbike to get on, you know, like, but that's just my thinking. So now she, she started thinking of that horse. I let her sit here and, and kind of have her own thoughts. Good. And so what's cool is she got distracted. I noticed she got distracted before it carried on too far. I slid down my right rein. I helped redirect her mind to me. And as soon as I did that, she had a relax, re relaxation reflex to put her head down. And now she's like yawning and doing all that stuff. And I didn't even do anything special. And I'm probably at a spot where I could get off her and be done for the day. Because I, I just got her to realize that I'm paying attention to what's important to her. That's why she yawned and did that. She's like, oh, dang, he saw what I had cooking. And now she, she kind of just walked off, and, and it wasn't rude, so I'm not super worried about it. And it wasn't to the gate right where this other mare is that's kind of running around like a wild horse and whinnying and usually is. So she wants to come and check out these barrels over here. I'm dang sure not going to get mad at her for it. She gets to looking this way, and I'm going to see. Now we're going to see. Pistol, what are you thinking? Now she's thinking about the gate. And I'm kind of at a disadvantage because Jody's in the arena, so it kind of changes my feng shui here. But um, usually, I wouldn't pick up all my reins. I would just ride her with my feet. But if I did that, I would squish the camera. So I didn't do it. But this time, I'm going to make my timing a little bit better. If she's going to come here and crowd Jody, I'm going to start using my legs earlier. Where that, that last time I kind of forgot that she was in here and I used my leg. Don't knock over my tacos. Ooh. Let's see about that. That looks kind of fun. Can we knock that out of there? There's got to be a way. Let's do some maneuver in here. So here I'm feeling of her, and she's coming back, but she's, she's stiff. And right now she's braced through her body. She's going to kind of wiggle around, try some, <coughs> excuse me, try some things. Ooh, that's a nice effort. Now wait on me. Now wait on me. I'd like you to get nice and, no, not that. No need to fuss around. I'd like you to get nice and centered and just get at peace with yourself and just kind of feel of me. If you'll just, oh, you're pushing on my right leg, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to help you get centered. I'm going to show you where peaceful is. Oh, I'm going to kind of use my legs. Oh, there, there it is, but you can't stay there. Oh, you found it again. Can you keep it? Oh, no, mind is going everywhere. Here we go. That is almost perfect right there. So... We're helping her hunt the center and find that spot. And so that way when we start speeding things up and picking up on the reins, she gives to them. Her first instinct is to give, not, not to push. Let's mess with this. You can get it. There you go. That's a good idea. Come on. You can get it. Oh. So now... I kind of got a little object I can play with and teach her to get centered. Because see right there, she's like, oh, Tristan, I don't know if I want to run into that thing. I'm not sure how good it's going to move. So she's kind of going left and right and left and right. So I'm just going to use my legs more than my hands and help her right there. 
Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, put your ears back at it. Go on with your bad self. There you go. Show her where the center is. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Can we, can we really get it? Come on. Let's get it. Come on. There you go. That's a good idea. Look at that. Okay, let's see. Can we come up here? Can we stop and turn into it? Oh, we just barely missed it. We'll try that again. We'll back up next to it. Oh, she says, I don't want to hit it with my left shoulder. Oh, right there. Hit it. No, right there. That was a good effort. We'll settle for that. Good. Now she's starting to hunt it. I'm not having to steer her as much. I might stop her and say, that's pretty good. So I like that because I get to check out a bunch of things. How is she about pushing on, you know, an object that is giving some resistance? How is she on target fixation? What's she starting to do? So now I'm just going to ask her, what do you want to do? She's like, oh, I kind of thought about it, but I think I'd like to go over here. So here, I'm not steering her. She's saying, well, I'm going to need to put that down for a minute. She's saying she wants to be over here now. So instead of taking her away, I'm just going to kind of mess around over here, turn into the fence, and uh, ride her, and then I'm going to give her a chance to want to be somewhere again. Oh, and that time she's like, oh, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't go that way because it was pretty busy. So I'll rub on her over here. So we're, we're checking out her where her mind is when it goes because all the horses and where she gets fed are out here. I got to start using my legs. Psh, 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 make things kind of hectic. And then when she gets right here, I'm just going to rub on her and, and make everything really, really good and just ride her. See, because we're, we're wanting her to get centered to where she's not distracted. That was good. That time she thought about the gate just for a second. Oh, that's a good effort right there. She almost runs straight to that corner. And see her letting down? She's learning. She's lived her life for a couple years. And um, probably never had anybody kind of pay that much attention to what she had going on. They might have noticed it, but they never helped her with it. They just rode her away. They just kind of kicked her in the belly and said, Come on, horse. Let's leave that stuff. We're, what I'm doing is seeing, she's saying, Tristan, I want to go out here and be with my friends. I think being out here with my friends is good. And I'm going to say, All right. I mean, you can try that, I guess. But there's better ways to think. And I'm limiting myself by not using my hands. And I'm trying to get her to hunt peace over here in the quiet where she's just with herself. So there she's kind of thinking about it. So I put my legs on. As soon as I put my legs on, she thought about leaving. Good. She's getting further and further away. More and more independent. So those of you who have asked, hey, psh, 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 I got to get crafty if I'm not going to use my hands. Psh, 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 psh. Ah, psh, psh. I got close. So those of you who have been asking me about gate sour horses, this is a great way to work on it. Good. And the reason I'm not using my hands is because it's awful easy. It's awful easy to change one's mind with your hands and just force them to go away. So many people use their hands so fast that they just distract that horse and get them off of it instead of getting them to not even worry about it. Because if you get it to where they don't even worry about it, you don't have to do it over and over. It's not a thing every time where your horse is winning and want to be with everybody but you. But you got to take the time and check in with them and let them show you what they got going.
also for those people who have asked me for videos about Ray and their horse wanting to run off at the lope a lot of times horses are that way because they're herd bound and you're covering it up like hey we're not eating grass are you crazy we're on television right now that's a bad idea so see there i influenced her mind the same thing she said hey tristan i'm gonna bite this grass and i said okay you can try and about the time she got her old lips going and was going to take a nibble i said ah oh look we're speeding up and she's like oh dang grass looked good now she's fixated on her friend so i'm going to do good as soon as she comes back so right there, if I, if I wouldn't have done just a little bit, she would have whinnied real, real quick there. Her whole body got rigid. See, I might, I might still lose her. See, her whole body got rigid in her brain. There, there, that's the peaceful place. You're losing the head bobbing, but you're leaning. So leg, see that left shoulder's in the way. Ooh, nice and centered right there. Oh, yeah, that don't, oh, oh, come on. You can do it. Right. Oh, that don't weigh nothing. That don't weigh nothing. So there she's at that peaceful place. Ought to, you know, get to blinking, work her mouth, take a big old breath, and let down. So we'll give her a second. And then if she gets to thinking about leaving again, we'll start. And I'll show you guys how I like to work on hindquarters, front quarters on a horse that hasn't really been taught it this style. This horse was taught a forward, kind of a rush turn. And she couldn't really turn super great because all her weight was on the forehand. She could turn better to the left than the right, but she was getting in her own way because if the weight's on the front feet, you can't move the front feet, you know. So if you go to turn her, if I, and I want to turn her to the right, and I get the weight over this left hind leg, well, she can spin around and pull with her right hind and reach with her right front and then cross over with her left front. But we're going to start teaching her hindquarters. So right here, whenever I make contact on this rein, see she's trying to back up. Can't get mad at her for that. She's trying something. I, it ain't the right thing, but I can't be like chew her butt for it because she's trying to figure stuff out. And that's one thing I see happen a lot. This is something we're working on fixing. The, the horse is kind of out in her back and her neck in a couple of spots. And she still is, but she's getting a heck of a lot better. But she did the kind of like Clinton Anderson mindless bending the head around where they put your, their nose to your foot, but their brain isn't over this way thinking. I'd like her to level out and get to her like most biomechanical, like efficient place. And see, she's going to root. She's going to try things. She's going to back up. These are all things that at some point in time she's been released for. That's, that's why she's trying them because she thinks these, these might find her some reprieve. There she's nice and focused and leveled out. I'm going to let go. And where is she still? She still stayed long after I left. And that's because we didn't let go too late. We didn't let go too soon. We waited till she got the idea and then she understood it. So we were not just in the ripping them around business we're trying to get them to think down the rain because that's what we need to make things effective for, for her to not brace she has to think when their contact comes on she can't if she leans on it she's not thinking she's worrying she's bracing she's preparing for impact that's the only reason horses lean on stuff there she's nibbling on my shaft so i'm just going to wiggle my leg Good, that's nice, peaceful expression. And it's, I wish we would have taken a video sooner because before you did that and she was like head bobbing and kind of doing this stuff. And there's still some of that in there, but we're getting it out all That's, oh, see, she had the idea, but then she snapped back. So what's real important is once I get here, I'm not pulling. I'm letting her think about it. Now I'm going to put my leg on. Roll my hindquarters. I'm asking. I'm about to. I'm about to get to saying a little more. There you go. You see that right front foot. The first thing it did was step into that. Now she's fixing herself. Oh wow, that's way, way, way better than yesterday. So now, yesterday, all she wanted to do was in the beginning was fall onto this right front foot, collapse all of her weight, 
and not stay lifted up through her back. See, like right there where she wanted to get stuck on that right front foot? And here, she's, she's, she's looking for ways out. And she's doing that because at some point in time, it's worked. So now she gets to doing that, I'm going to bother her. I'm not going to rip her head off. I'm not going to kick her in the teeth. I'm going to say, that ain't, that, you don't need to act that way. Nobody likes it. It's not, it's not good behavior. See that front foot is coming into my circle. I'm going to start with my leg again. And this is an exercise of patience. I, I could bend her head around here and put my leg in the right spot and play her like a fiddle and make her look perfect. But I need her to understand what the rain along the neck means. So anytime her owner, Kathy, picks it up, her brain comes right down the rain. It's not rocket surgery where she has to cluck three times, use a whip, and jiggle her foot twice, and pull her rein, and then like hold her tongue to get the horse to do it. I, I need any time she picks up on the rein, the horse to turn loose. And now you'll see her yawning. And a minute ago, she's grouchy. And now what she was grouchy about she's she's learning to find peace in and now she's nibbling on my rope because she's playful <laughs> let go of it thank you much better much better so she's she's learning to be patient and soft in this flexion and she's learning not to drop that shoulder in here and push this way that's a real inefficient way for a horse to move. Here, breathing and look, her flexion is dang near perfect. So now, we're just gonna reach. Right now, I'm not doing anything with my left leg. I'm just reaching out, I'm giving her a feel to follow. Oh, that's a good effort, so I'm not gonna pester you, but you gotta come right there. See how she shifted her weight and started to come back? She did great, I released her, but she kept going forward, so I'm gonna start until she does that maneuver, but stays stationary. I'm going to stay on the same side. I might roll my hindquarters to get me into it. And then I might reach this out here. Right there is a good idea. Oh, but she, she's, I mean, and I, you cannot blame this horse because every time she got turned around, she always got run forward. So she never found a place to stay. So her walking forward like that, you will never see me get aggravated for because she was taught how to do that. Like she was taught to do that intentionally. So here she's braced a little. She got to thinking about the, the white horse. Oh, the shoulder's coming in. She's anticipating the turn. I'm saying, no, that's not quite right. Your rein's right here along your neck. Think right here. Oh, that's good. Now reach out here. Think right there. Oh, you almost made it. Now we'll switch sides, work this other side, and we'll just keep going until she can plant and find a place and understand that this turn is a balanced maneuver. It's, not, it's neither forwards or backwards. And see, right here, she thinks hindquarters. She doesn't know how to get her weight back. See, she's got to get this weight back so she can move her front feet. So I'm not going to snatch on her and kick her because there's a change. So I can't snatch on her and kick her and try and drag her through there because then she gets to staring at my leg. Her ears will come back and then she won't want to turn at all. But there I had to wait for her to transition her weight. And once again, I'm not going to use both reins and micromanage her. I'm going to teach her how to do it off one. And then when you pick up both of them, she'll spin your hat off. And I'm also going to teach her how to turn around with just your legs. But when you're teaching a horse something, this should be the look you get. They shouldn't be foaming and fighting and doing all kinds of things. She says, it's time to get that flag back. That thing was just chasing me around here not too long ago. So now, we'll work on that a little bit again. Good. Our flexion is getting much better, less crooked. Much less, that's the way. But she went right back forward. So now that she's getting it a little bit, I'm going to challenge her just a touch. Oh, that was perfect, but you lost it. Here comes perfect. Oh, but she got forward. You got to find the peaceful place. Right there's a good idea. Oh, come on now. Right there's, oh, you're getting close. Oh, that's not a good idea. That is. That's a great idea there. Oh, but she's like, I got to get forward. That's okay. That, this is such an important part that when you find yourself in a spot like this, you take the time that it takes 
for them to understand. You can't, you can't rush it. Horse don't care about what you want to get done. So you need to slow down and take a chance and try and learn something from a horse and like help them with something instead of always trying to get what you want, when you want it, how you want it. Because if you just give to them a little bit, they will re repay you more than you can imagine. But you got to take the time to like put them first. You can't always be numero uno. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a real good idea there. Oh, you almost made it. But now you guys can see that turn's starting to get cleaner in a hurry. She's starting to get that weight back a little bit sooner. Every time I go down this rain, there's a little less arguing. Every time her face gets a little more peaceful a little bit sooner. That's the goal. Is When we do something, we do it to help her move her life forward, to, to gain some understanding and to get better at things. That's what will get her interested in wanting to be with us. And just try and have... Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Like, you guys haven't seen her before, so you don't know, but that was good progress. There she waited. She reached across in the front. And in all honesty, I'm going to be done with her there. I'm going to back her a little bit, but she's in a great mental space. She's with us. Her body is loose and supple, and her mental state is turned loose. So she's in a learning frame of mind. She's going to absorb the maximum amount of material right now. So we're going to quit her while she's ahead. And then um, this horse, because she does get a, a little worried about other horses and herd bound, it's real important for me when I quit them, I haven't ever talked about this enough, is that you kill the connection. See, like right there, she got to thinking about this horse. And if I were to give her to somebody... And they, weren't, they were just distracted for a second. Like yesterday, I gave her to a friend when I was riding her horse. And it didn't take her but about a minute and a half to get to winning again. I had been working her. She got real peaceful. And I gave her to my friend. And she was kind of watching me and couldn't focus on the horse. And she got right back to worried and winning. You want to kill the connection and turn her out while she's here. You don't want to mess around and dink around and get on your cell phone and run your mouth like I do sometimes and let her get worried again. You want to quit here and kill it. So what we're going to do is take her up, unsaddle her, and turn her out, and she's done for the day. And what I'm looking for is the horse to get better. If I can ride this horse, and every time I ride her, she gets better, I don't know what more you... Any, I don't want any more than that. If I can just get her a little bit better, it'll build every single time so that's the goal and I think those are some good things to think about when you're riding and like just try and get your horse looking like this so thank you guys for watching I hope this gives you some ideas and some things to work on and this is what we do with some of the horses we have in training